gently, gently hit that like button if you enjoyed that loop, just a little bit, just to show some support. It would mean a lot. All right, so Fender just released the new generation of Acoustasonics with the most natural acoustic tones yet, according to Fender. They even call it the most versatile guitar they ever made, which is a bold statement. But it also says neither acoustic or electric, and that worries me. Is it two gimmicks packed in one guitar at the price of three? Or is it two great features on just one guitar? Would I buy it? And what happens if you drop a pig inside of that hole? Does it disappear into the void? Hello? A lot of important questions. Let's find out. So the Acoustasonic is a hugely popular crossover that, as you heard in the guitar loop I just did, blurs the line between an acoustic and an electric guitar. And I'd love to take you over the parts I played in this loop and the sounds I used, so you can hear them more clearly and I'll show you my opinion as well. Last year I got the chance to check out the Stratocaster Acoustasonic and now they release it with a Jazz Master body, a new pickup and a broader range of sounds to choose from. I do not get paid by Fender, but they did send me this review unit to check out, but they don't get a say in what comes into this video, and of course the opinions expressed are all mine. So let's go. In order to make this guitar work, you need to plug it in, and it does not sound too good acoustically, to be honest. It sounds a little bit louder than my thin line Telecaster, but not per se any better. So I think it's best to plug it into an acoustic guitar amp or like I'm doing, plug it directly into an interface PA mixer full range speaker. I don't recommend using it with a traditional electric guitar amp for reasons I'll show you later. Anyway, let's get to the sound. So the first part I played in the loop is an interesting feature on this guitar and uses the body sensor pickup. This allows you to do percussive stuff like I was doing in the loop. And it sounds even better when you turn on some reverb. So I'm running my guitar through some pedals, a delay, a reverb, an octaver, some cool stuff happening later. So next up I switch the guitar using the five-way toggle switch to position five, where if the tone knob is in position A, we find a rosewood dreadnought guitar, probably modeled after something like my D42, and I played this. That does sound pretty decent, doesn't it? If this would be a live setting and I would have this sound, I would be very happy. But there we have it. It does sound more like a plugged in guitar to me instead of actually playing the guitar in the room. So if I would grab that Martin, and I know this is unfair, but just for reference. So although this is a nicely balanced sound across the spectrum. It has a bit of that piezo bright attack going on. So after the part I switched to that mellow lead sound found on position 2B. And here we find a lo-fi setting. I guess they're tapping in that lo-fi hip-hop trend. And it can go from anything between pretty much clean to more overdriven. And for some extra mojo, I turned on some reverb and delay. Yes, I'm shaking my guitar and it really adds a nice vibrato. Also on the Acoustasonic. It's very nice. So it works really well. It gives that mellow and warm sound. And I play this. The guitar feels lighter than you expect. It looks a bit chunky to be honest, but it's not really heavy at all. And to be fair, I think the Jazz Master body, out of the three they did put out, the Telecaster, the Stratocaster, and now this one, I think this one looks the best. 
the body shape somehow just feels more balanced with the whole acoustic electric morphing going on. The neck is a pretty comfortable C shape. Not too thin, but definitely not too chunky. It feels comfortable and it does play very light for an acoustic. And that's what I'm comparing it with because there's acoustic guitar strings on here. So it definitely feels more like playing an acoustic, a very light acoustic than to playing electric. Anyway, how does it take heavy strumming? According to the booklet, there is a mahogany jumbo at position 4A. And apparently that guitar loves some good old strumming. So this is what I played in the loop. Or something in that ballpark. So to me, this sounds on itself maybe not super spectacular but in the mix it worked really well and i found i didn't really need it to adjust anything the highs and the trebles were really nice and balanced there wasn't an overwhelming low end so yeah it's super handy if you just want to have a quick guitar in your recording and this is pretty much you know ready to go you don't have to change anything about it so when i started playing the chords i also engaged a clip with me playing bass and the bass was not the bass guitar but it was the acoustic running through a whammy played at an octave lower. Before we check out that fat overdrive sound on here and why I've got a problem with it, there's one thing I love to check out. How does it compare to an actual plugged in acoustic guitar? So this is the guitar I used live mostly, just plugging it in directly into the mixing desk. That was my sound and I was usually pretty happy with it. So let's see how it does. tough one so you hear more depth in the real acoustic guitar the acoustic sounds a little more boxy to me and the difference is bigger when you actually play the guitar since you always hear a bit of the dry signal coming through so the real acoustic obviously sounds better in that case but this isn't a fair comparison anyway because the guitar I just played by itself is just more expensive than this guitar and it does just that one thing so you know with the range of sounds you got from this, I think I'm very impressed with how close this actually got. Anyway, now let's finally go to that fully overdriven guitar sound you heard in the loop as well. Turn it to position one, turn it to B, and there we are. A little bit of reverb. What I actually wanted to do for the guitar loop is end with a high gain shred just over the top. So I tried a few overdrive pedals, but this is what came out mostly. But what if we tried cleaning up this sound? So there's also a clean electric guitar sound. Turn on the overdrive. Doesn't really work either. And I guess this is the reason why the guitar doesn't really work with a traditional electric guitar amp. Maybe when it's a high headroom clean amp, but running a sound that sounds like a pushed amp already through an actual amp again, doesn't really work. On the other hand, I'm guessing that most folks are fine with that since it's probably not the next metal guitar everyone is waiting for. <laughs> anyway, before we find out what actually happens when a pick falls in, who is this guitar for? Would I buy it? Well, for me, the answer is no, I would not buy it. So 
I was just browsing through the sound, styling and tones and stuff, and I was, hey, this sounds like that guitar I own. Oh, that sounds like this guitar I own. So for me, there isn't really a need to get it. All the sounds in there are in my studio already. But although I haven't played a show in over a year because of reasons, if I would still be playing the occasional acoustic gig, that always ended up in sore hands because, you know, of playing acoustic guitar for hours straight, it's pretty straining on the hands. I definitely would have brought this guitar just to give it a try anyway. I'm 100% positive that it would do the job. But maybe it would actually make more sense to bring this to all those gigs I played where I did not bring an acoustic guitar because, you know, not handy, too crowded, it's only for a few songs. And then this might be very handy. An acoustic guitar is just way more fragile and this one really feels like it can take a beating. Not that I'm beating, I'm not beating it apart from that but anyway should you buy it well you heard what it can do the broad spectrum of sounds it can deliver but you also seen some limitations so unlike an acoustic guitar you cannot just pick it off the ball and play so in that sense you need to treat it more like an electric guitar but then it lacks some tonal versatility in that regard because the tone is already shaped for you in the guitar on the other side that can be a good thing if it's done nicely and it is well it can be your thing there's a big range of sounds to choose from, all in just one guitar. The broad spectrum from big acoustics to dirty electrics. So if you're into that all-in-one guitar solution, this might be the one for you. And now, what happens if a pick falls in? I'm really in doubt if I will ever see it back because it feels so weird. Oh wait, that's there. Ah, worst idea ever. Hey, I saw it. <sighs> Did it come out? <laughs> oh my god. You just have to wish it comes out. <laughs> anyway, I would love to hear from you. What do you think about this concept? Is this something you would consider? Please let me know in the comment section. Also, my new acoustic guitar course is coming out on March 24th. So please put that in your calendar and check it out at acousticadventure.com. I'm very excited for this. And it could be awesome to play stuff on Yakuza Sonic from that course. I think it will be awesome. Anyway, gently touch that like button if you enjoyed the loop I did over there. Bye guys. Later.